Hi welcome to Micro 171. President Trump's tax reform proposal may just be an opening bid of a long negotiation he's anticipating, but it delivers an aggressive cut that small business owners have been clamoring for. Announced Wednesday afternoon, Trump's plan would lower corporate tax rates to 15% from the current 35%. It would also reduce the business income rates paid by the so-called pass-through businesses including many small businesses formed as partnerships and limited liability companies and some larger entities like hedge funds to 15%. These businesses' incomes are passed through to owners, who then pay taxes based on the individual income rates, ranging from 10% to 39.6%. Even though Trump promised to cut pass-through tax rates during his campaign his real estate company, the Trump Organization is a pass-through small business owners have not let up in insisting on being treated equally in corporate tax reform and the president's proposal drew their applause. We're pleased to see the 15% business rate, says Brad Close, senior vice president of public policy and advocacy for the National Federation of Independent Business. We think it's a great way to kickstart the small business economy. Small firms seek level playing field in tax reform. While much of the media attention has focused on large corporations, small businesses employ about half of non-public sector American workers, making their health and success vital to the U.S. economy. Since the last major tax reform in 1986, establishing businesses as pass-throughs has become increasingly popular for entrepreneurs since it typically gives them lower tax rates than paying the corporate rate. In the press conference Wednesday, Trump's key economic aides Gary Cohn, director of the National Economic Council, and Treasury Secretary Stephen Nookin said the stimulative effects of the tax cuts will spur economic growth and help make up for much of the anticipated increase in the deficit. The goal, Nookin said, is to generate 3% or higher growth that is sustainable. I do think dramatically lowering the corporate tax rate will have a significant effect on economic activity, says Joe Kennedy. Senior Fellow for Economic Policy at the Information Technology and Innovation Foundation. American companies, lured by lower tax rates, will be less inclined to flee the country, looking for tax havens in their investment, he said. It will draw economic activity to the U.S. It reduce incentives to go abroad. Still, tax cuts for pass-through businesses alone could enlarge the deficit by hundreds of billions of dollars and deficit hawks from both parties will continue to hammer the administration on its lack of details on how to manage the increase. It's a whole issue sitting out there, says Dean Zerb, National Managing Director for Tax Advisory Firm Alliant Group. This will be a case where you are going to have a significant issue with tax revenue. Subscribe to my channel, thanks.